Yo guys, what is good? It's Cam Wilden, aka Cam, in the building, you know what I'm saying? Today we're going to be reacting to Wilt Chamberlain's highlights, 1966 to 1973. Now I have an unpopular opinion on um, Wilt Chamberlain, and I think he's like easily top five of all time. I go, I go, LeBron, Kobe, MJ, D'Angelo Russell, Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, Wilt Chamberlain is just an absolute god, okay, uh... Yeah, bro, he, he's literally a, he was a 7 foot 1 Zion Williamson. He was a 7 foot 1 Zion, imagine if Zion grew like 7 or 8 inches, and then increased his vertical by like 9 inches. That's Wilt Chamberlain, bro, imagine... If you're telling me that he still wouldn't be the greatest player of all time, you guys are, you guys are messing. You guys, you guys are bugging. Probably the greatest play I've ever seen in my life. Will Chamberlain was involved with, with Gus Johnson. Will was standing there. Gus goes up to dunk it. Will catches the ball, throws Gus to Get the Get that out of here, stupid. Still holding the ball. They carry Gus off the court with a dislocated shoulder from bouncing off the court. See what I'm saying, bro? Zion, I, not Zion, bro. I'm see, I'm confusing them because Will Chamberlain is just like the craziest Zion. Bro, wasn't he like lifting with Arnie, Arnie, like with all those pro bodybuilders at the time in their primes? Actually, no, that's 1966. Was Arnie even alive, bro? How old is Arnie? I don't know. Either way, guys, Will Chamberlain was insanely strong. I don't see how anyone in the NBA will ever be as strong as he was. Look how, look how massive he is. And don't forget, he's 7 foot 1, so it's harder to put on that much muscle. Rough, and anybody that kind of shoved him back, that was the last time you'd shove him because he'd come after you. And he started a fight with Flynn Robinson. And in those days, we'd all jump off the bench and run to start helping the fight. Well, I was on the court and I saw six guys on our team come charging off the bench. And it's like they ran into a brick wall. They just stopped, <laughs> frozen. Bro, I wish Will Chamberlain had. I wish he had footage of his hundred point game and all these crazy stuff. I wonder what the heck is going on. I turned around, and out of the corner of my eye, I see somebody walking towards Mel. Now Mel was one of the strongest people I've ever met. You shake his hand, he might kill you. He picked Mel up. He walked right up to Mel, picked him up off the ground, and here's his legs are dangling like the little kids. Had him in a, had him in a vice, and. <laughs> <laughs> and told him, now Mel, you better calm down. Mel came back to the bench and said, how come you guys didn't come on and help me with Will? And Freddie looked at him and said, you gotta be kidding, right? <laughs> Nobody's gonna mess with Will was the strongest human being I've ever seen in my life. With a 49 inch vertical, oh my days. With the greatest vertical in NBA history. Bro, look at them done. The Chino Hills before Chino Hills. Here's the thing, right? I'm not gonna cap. They say he has a 49 inch vertical. But if we're looking at this dunk footage, if we if we really break it, does it really look like he has a like don't forget he's seven for one. He's not five ten. Like he's a five ten dunk Everybody with a if you have a 49 inch vertical. The dunks you make when you're five ten. Points to Michael and making all not these seven changes one. or things, but Will Chamberlain was the first one. And I'm not saying that in a good way, okay? Like I'm saying, if you would need a forty nine inch vertical if you were five ten to make a simple dunk like that. That really made. If you were seven one and had a forty nine inch vertical, oh, you'd be basketball. Just booming everything. But in Michael's era, it was one hand check. When Wilt was playing, it was two hand checks. And Earl Strong, the legendary referee who's no longer with us said this to me a number of times. He said, Sonny, if we called all the fouls on Wilt, we wouldn't have a game. So there was two sets of rules for Wilt when he played. Hey. See? You dung on everyone, that's crazy. <laughs> Get off me, stupid.
Well, they were all scared of him. The game we played was against Chicago when he had joined us, you know, near the tail end of my career. Oh, OK, and we see you. Was, this particular game, I don't think for six minutes, they never got a shot that hit the rim of the basket. And, you know, Will just went out, contested every shot, jump shots and everything. I never saw anything like it. Offensive was what your specialty was, yeah, not defense. Well, well, Bill Russell. Yeah, Bill Russell was, was considered to be the much finer defensive player. Well, was he? Yeah. I, I think that Bill <laughs> Russell was considered to be the most finest. And defense. you think Will Chamberlain was every bit as good a defensive player? I think. As Bro, there's no way you can be seven foot one with a 49 inch vertical. You're going to say, I'm sure they're not going to get to it, but he has some crazy zone Bill Russell was, could block as many shots. Unfortunately, if they're kept, if they're kept block shots, yeah. I think you and I would both know the answer right now. Who was? No. Unfortunately, it didn't happen until after I left basketball. The only game he does play when they go back and count his blocks for it, he averages a crazy amount of blocks. And we know that most of his legendary games aren't even on camera. That's probably because they weren't filming the games where it was against the trash team, and that's why they were so legendary games. But Another thing about Wilt that I'm sure this video will get to is that everyone's like, guys, we can't even we can't even give Wilt because Bill Russell Bill Russell owns Wilt Chamberlain. Guys, do you know who what the NBA rebound record is? I think it's like 30, 40 rebounds by Wilt Chamberlain. And guess who was against Bill Russell? Yeah. The the rebounding record is set Hi. on Bill Russell. Have you always wanted to learn to So like So like Wilt Chamberlain therefore just has to be better, right? <laughs> like like no cap. So we're Look at all these blocks. Forum one night, Will is dominating. Never even crossing half court, only playing defense, just blocking every shot, starting to fast break. And we're watching this game just, game just going up and down, and Will is everywhere. And Sidney Wicks, playing for the Portland Trailblazers, gets the ball in a corner along the baseline. It's wide open, and he drives that basket, and he goes up to throw one down with the most unbelievable slam dunk, and Will way up at the top of the key. Will takes one big step, reaches out, put his hand over the top of the basket, and as Sydney comes in to throw it down, Will just... Okay, see, that was a... F see, bro, look. His hand <laughs> I'm not sure. That, that was probably gold, Sydney. This one. Comes in to throw it was all the way down. down. No cap. But that's still a higher block. Takes it right out of Sydney's hand. Yanks it. Sydney goes falling to the ground. Will never touched him. Will takes the ball out, lets it perfectly. The Lakers are racing up the court. I'm going, oh my gosh, and I'm watching. And out of the corner of my eye, I see this big giant shadow, this huge monolith coming, and he comes right over to me. And it's Will. I look back at his Will, and the game is going on in the fast break. And Will puts his hand down to me and says, hey, Billy, you're doing a great job up there at UCLA. You be sure and tell Johnny Wooden high for me. And then he turns right back and goes back and gets in the game and blocks another shot, and the Lakers are off to the races again. Wilt takes the championship home to Philadelphia, and so finally Philadelphia has that championship figure. The kid from Overbrook High has How his ring and and win? stand up and say, I'm a winner. I didn't think he won. And he was a winner. And he would have been a winner sooner. But what happens with all big-time scores? coaches put a tremendous amount of pressure on them to produce and produce offensively. Once the big guy got offensive players around him, all of a sudden those numbers offensively dropped. He only averaged 24 points a game, but yet he got 24 rebounds a game. Other guys scored. He was able to, as Russell was able to, with that supporting cast, win himself a title. We would later say Alex Hannon was the coach who was able to convince him to modify his game. This year, I was fortunate to uh, take over a team that had the talent that uh, allowed Wilt to play the style of ball he did well, he won two year. championships. It was not necessary for him to score. Uh, in order I didn't think to he win. won one because um, Bill for him Russell won 11 in a row. Right? Offensively. Uh, he had the type of talent to play with, and uh, this gave uh, me all kinds of weapons. That's dying. I was able to convince him to modify his game. And uh, convince him so why Wilt's coachable. He wanted to win. He wanted to do whatever was necessary to go out there and win. But at the same time, he was surrounded by players that couldn't score. He had to carry the offensive load. When he recognized there was offensive players out there with him, he turned to loose the ball and let them play with him. He led the league in assists one year. Actually, they played in a triangle offense. Right, imagine just standing the league, the leading the league in assists. Yeah, 1967. Wow. 68. I think it was eight and a half. It was the, the leading number. 
when he was in the latter part of his career, the news media or somebody would walk up to him and say, that oh, vision. you can't score anymore. 50, 60, then he go back to passing the ball and whatever. <laughs> if you challenged him, that just took him to another level. It's not possible for any human being to do the kinds of things that he was able to do. If you have one player, one player in NBA history that you could there start a team around, who would it be? Will Chamberlain. Why? Because he's the greatest big man in the history of the game. And you, you win with big men. And Wilt would adapt his game accordingly. If Wilt had Remember the good that, fortune was he of <laughs> the having as many great teammates as Bill Russell had, I think that his record of championships would have been phenomenal. If you look... Oh, imagine, imagine if Will Chamberlain played on the prime Golden State Warriors. You have Curry, Clay, Draymond, all them just chucking threes, and then you got Will Chamberlain on the defensive end and grabbing every single rebound. Oh my God, it would be so over. Well. When he was surrounded by great people, the 67 Sixer team. If Will Chamberlain had team of shooters in today's NBA, ever, what happened? Oh, Will helped a championship because he had great personnel. Then, when he was even older, he played on the Lakers team and they set the record for consecutive wins. One championship, I mean, why? Because he was willing to do whatever is necessary. Heck, he led the league in assists one time as a center. This guy was a phenomenon. I played, uh, I guess, six years against uh, Will Chamberlain. And uh, he was a guy that was slow to anger, who was a tremendous athlete, who played under his limitations a lot. Um, I had to play center one year. And one of the things that you were taught, just getting Wilt's path, he doesn't like offensive fouls. If you take the shoulder and you fake an offensive foul or take the charge, so to speak, he really stops becoming aggressive. And that was the one thing that, you know, was kind of a limitation in Wilt's game. They used to say about you, though you were by far the biggest and strongest man in the league and uncommonly skilled for a center. Uh, that you did not have a killer instinct. I don't mean that competitively, but I mean you could have hurt guys. You could have slammed guys to the floor. You could have looked to pick out to pick that, fights. You didn't that, do that. that. That was one of the saving things about playing against the guy who was physically imposing. And well, so uh, you know you that's could, good and bad. Yeah, you know you could. Know, Rack him up, and you know yeah. that he's not gonna really hurt did you, you. Did you need more killer? <laughs> well, you, you know, it, you know, it could be said. It, it, it could be said. And but also remember, when you're my size, you know, because I knew I was bigger and stronger than everybody else, I wanted to also show them that I was skillful. I wasn't out there to really try to show that I could just knock people over and whatever. And you didn't want to just play into the image of brute strength. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I want to play basketball. Bro, imagine being so good that you just don't even get like. Like your only focus is like, yo, I know I'm the best, so I'm gonna just like try prove it to everyone else oh, by trying to do literally he's everything. Definitely, you know, really invent the game to be played. Actually, was better than he envisioned. Probably right. That turn around like a little light thing it looks so stupid, but it works, I guess. His fadeaway was crazy as well. Some of the statistics about you as an athlete, an all-around athlete, that people don't notice about you, shot-putting champion, undefeated for long periods of time, bench press 500 pounds, a 50-inch vertical jump. By the way, what's what's Michael Jordan's vertical jump? Do we know? I don't think it's quite that high. Not as high. No. That people don't realize that they think, oh, it's 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 all inherent in your height, yeah. and because of it, it should come easily to Wills. Shot put world champion with a not a 49, a 50-inch vertical. 50, there's no way he had a 50 inch vertical. Honestly, that is the biggest cap I've ever heard in my life. 
But I believe the shot put champion was in here, and like the 500 pound bench to press is great. quite insane you know, as well. I worked very hard. I mean, I taught myself how to throw a shot. I did it all by myself. You, and, you ran know, track, you ran distance. I ran, I ran track and field and so forth. Did you have a Kansas record, a Big 8 record for a long time? Well, or? yeah, I've, I've had uh, quite a few uh, different type of records. As we sit here right now, Will owns over 90 records in the NBA, and he hasn't played in the NBA in the last 40 years. <laughs> he swore and everything guys that's the end of the will chamberlain video guys will chamberlain is a beast okay um i think the 50 inch vertical is cat but i believe everything else to be honest um like if you just look at it like he doesn't look like he has a 50 inch vertical guys if he was seven foot one with a 50 inch vertical he would be flying over the backboard okay so when I hear that, like sometimes I question the 50, 500 pound bench press as well. But anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like and subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. Road to 1K and I'm out. See ya.